I do. We've made an exciting start to the summer transfer window, having completed a deal for Fabio Vieira. You must be delighted he's joined us. Yes. Happy to see because the way we work to find a player like Fabio was uh, quite uh, interesting uh, because me and Mikel see um, the necessity of the squad to have someone like Fabio and we target the players and um, yeah, we work it, we talk to the player, we talk to, the, to Porto, talk to the agents, they understand and now we are really, really happy to have a player like Fabio here in the squad. What sort of qualities do you think Fabio will bring to our team? Fabio is the one which probably we don't have no one in the squad with his characteristic. Maybe Martin Odegaard uh, has um, his quality, uh, Smith Rowe probably has the, the same quality, but he has something very special because he likes to play very close to the final third. Um, he likes to play on the pocket. He feels comfortable to play in that position because, as I said before to Miko, it's very difficult to find a player like him. And uh, because the way he plays and the way he feels comfortable on the field. So in very difficult, in very challenged position. So I think um, we, we will enjoy a lot to, to see Fabio playing from for us. It's not just Fabio though, we've re-signed Eddie Nketiah on a long-term deal. How pleased are you that he's recommitted his future to the club? Yes, I think everybody in this project is excited about, about the players for the academy, isn't it? Because uh, we try to give to them um, all the opportunities, we try to give to them uh, exposure and Eddie was the one which take all the opportunities. I think to have someone like him in the squad for the future of this club is, is amazing because that means we as a club working properly, isn't it? Because he came from the academy, he went through the process, he's in the first team and now he's signing for a long-term project. So that's brilliant. We are all excited about, about it. It's not just Eddie Nketiah who's renewed his contract at Arsenal, it's also Mo and Eni, and we've got the signing of Marquinhos too. There's lots going on at the moment. Yeah, so that's a part of our plan. Uh, we decided to renew um, Mo and Eni and Eddie Nketiah and uh, we are really happy to have both here uh, in the club. And then we signed Marquinhos as well as a player to, yeah, to invest and to develop the player for a medium or long term project. And uh, yeah, we are really happy to, to, to do the way we're doing and I'm uh, looking forward to, to finish the, the window the way we, we plan it. The transfer window has only just opened really. How thrilled are you to have done these deals so quickly? Well, um, I think we as a club here internally, we are very, very excited to go and to keep going for the summer. And um, I think we prepare very, very much well um, the strategy to go to the summer, to something to go to do, and uh, we are quite excited to uh, to keep going. Is the speed of those deals testament to all the hard work that goes on behind the scenes? Yes. What I'm always trying to say is that there are so many people working for one signing, isn't it? So um, we're working really hard because we have a lot of people around it. We have a, um, the guys from the scouting side, the analysis, the data. We have uh, our CFO, we have a uh, legal team, we have our CEO, we have our board. So we have a lot of people engaging to make that kind of happen. So when we face the summer as we face it, uh, as we facing the summer, um, we are really, really prepared uh, to do uh, almost everything as we did with Fabio. That's why we move quite quickly because everybody's really engaged, everybody's really um, uh, focused to, to make the things happen. We've seen over the last few transfer windows a real investment in youth. Is that still a central part of our plans going forward? 100%. That's, that has to be Arsenal. So we have to go to the market and sign uh, exciting, exciting player with the right um, age, right attitude, right mentality. And uh, we want to see uh, a club like Arsenal with young squad, exciting squad, uh, with big, big future because as, as I said in the last summer, the idea is to have a young squad is to give them an opportunity to play together for two, three, four, five, six uh, seasons together. So, and then I think we are still doing, uh, still have a lot to do, but um, we are really excited to, um, yeah, to start the season with the players what we uh, target and that the players what we want to sign as, as well. When the transfer window starts, how do you go about that process of finding the right player, working out who's right for Arsenal no, football? To, 
to be fair, when you go to the summer, when you start the summer, it's because we plan six months or seven months or eight months before we face the summer. The summer is the, just the consequence of what we working a lot to try to find the best player, the best targets, identify really what we need in the squad. So when we started, we are prepared. So Fabio is a good example because uh, we move quickly because we prepared to get Fabio um, much um, a long time ago, and then, and then when we face it, we make the things happen. We've still got plenty of time to go in the transfer window, lots of hard work to still do, but what will the next few weeks bring for Arsenal? Yes, um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite exciting. I think we, have, um, we still have some good conversations and uh, positive conversations, to be fair. And um, yeah, I hope we can give it to, to the fans um, yeah, um, a good news.